Okay, do you want to hit the ball pure? Well, today we're going to be testing out pure grips. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm AJ and look at all these grip options I've got here from Pure Grips. All sorts of different colors, different sizes, different textures. They got a lot going on. So this video, we're gonna look at essentially the four different styles of grips that you can get from Pure Grips. Now they come again, different sizes. They come in a multitude of different colors, but they also have four unique textures to them. So we're gonna cover each of those. I'm gonna hit some, let you know what I think about them, how they feel, how they react when you hit a ball, and then you can decide if a pure grip may be something you're interested in. Now, one big reason that I love pure grips, and you've probably seen me use them in other videos, is they're so easy to put on and take off because we're just using compressed air to do that. So it's very simple, it's very fast, and I think it's just, especially for someone like me, it's just a great option to have. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start off with, uh, we're gonna start off with this guy, the, Pure Pro. Now, I've got these grips, different color, but I've got these grips on all my clubs right now, so I'm pretty well versed in it, but we're gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna use this exact grip, I'm gonna go throw it on real quick, and we're gonna hit some. Essentially, if you've never picked up one of these Pure Grips, this Pure Pro is kind of like if you took a, a Tour Velvet or a Lambkin Cross Line and you sort of mixed it together with a squishy stress ball. So it's got a little bit more give, it's a little more tacky maybe than those grips, but it still has that kind of pattern, that sort of texture to it. So it's a really nice combination. Again, it comes in a lot of different colors. I do kind of like this white, I'll be honest. First swing of the day, a little bit of a pull, but one thing I really like about these grips is they do a good job of reducing vibration because they have that sort of soft, um, I don't know if I'd call it spongy, it's not a spongy feel to them, but it's definitely a little bit squishier and it definitely does dampen out more of that vibration if you miss one, kind of like I just did there. That felt better. Still getting loose, but again, really good texture, good grip on it. Just a good feeling, classic type of golf grip with maybe just a little bit softer feel to it. Now, I originally put these grips on a set of clubs when I was building a wintertime golf set of irons because I wanted something, again, a little bit softer, uh, both for just the fact that the rubber feels a little harder during the winter, so a softer grip to start with, and just to help with, again, that vibration so you didn't get that stinging sensation when you missed one. They did both those things very well in the winter, but I liked them so much that I kept them on into the spring, summer, fall, basically year round. So I think cold weather or hot weather, I think it's a very solid grip. Uh, my hands do sweat, so I do still use a glove with these. Uh, I basically use a glove though with any grip, even a heavy cord. Okay, next up, we're gonna switch this out for the pure wrap. Okay, next up is the Pure Wrap. Probably very similar to what a lot of us grew up playing, only in this case it is bright, bright orange. 
but very similar look, very similar feel to it. Again, has that little bit softer feel to it, like the previous Pure Pro, just in a wrap style versus a velvet style. Comes in three different sizes again, but this time it's standard, midsize, and jumbo. The one jumbo grip that they make is in this tour wrap uh, design. Again, just like the Pro, it definitely dampens out some of that vibration. I missed that one pretty well, and it didn't sting my hands or anything like that, so. Pretty good there. So, yeah, I would say overall, a little bit less texture to it, but very similar feel overall. So if you like that wrap style, good option. Or if you're looking for a jumbo size grip, well then this is the one you're gonna to wanna to be looking at. So a few different options again in size, a lot of different options in color. Next up, we're going to something a little bit more unique, which is their DTX. Okay, now while the first two grips are pretty traditional in their design, yes, they use the, the pure rubber material that's a little bit different, but the actual design of it, very traditional in both those grips. This, the DTX, definitely a little bit different, a little more unique than those first two. Sort of think of it as it has this sort of combination of, again, going if we think old school, sort of the victory style of grip that had the little notches in it combined with this sort of sand, almost sandpapery texture. So it's a combination of that sandpaper texture and that sort of V uh, design. Feels a little bit softer than the Pro or the Wrap when you just sort of squeeze it in your hand. Feels a little bit softer, but again, it feels softer, but it also feels like there's a lot of texture to it. So We'll be interested to see how this feels. I have not ever actually hit this on a golf club, so I'm excited to see what it feels like. Again, comes in three different sizes, undersize, standard, midsize, a lot of color options. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Well, <laughs> this is actually a great day for testing grips because I'm hitting it really badly. So any sort of vibration, any sort of feedback, I am definitely gonna feel it today. That being said, I have not felt any sort of stinging or anything like that, given it is 72 degrees in here, but even so, on some of these misses, I'm not getting much vibration. You know, I can tell that I missed it, but it doesn't hurt, so that is nice. I do also really like the texture on this one. This one feels like that grip is not going anywhere. All right, ultimate test, for me at least, is we're taking the grip off because, like I said, sweaty hands. I get a lot of issues with grips and my hands sweating when it comes to summertime golf especially. So barehanded, see what we get out of it. It's not too bad. I can still feel it a little bit. Just the nervousness of being on camera. I get my hands always still sweat anytime I'm hitting balls on camera. So it's a pretty good test. And so I can still feel a little bit of slippage, but it's not bad. It's honestly, I could play that even with my hands slightly sweaty and feel pretty good about it.
Okay, last script today, the pure combo. So basically we take the DTX, we take the Pro, we put them together, and we get this script. So you've got that DTX up here on the top, and you've got that Pro texture down here on the bottom. So a little more texture, a little more grab up here, a little bit more feel down here. This also has that, call it plus four idea, four extra wraps of tape thickness, so a little bit less tapered grip. So if you like that feel, this would be the grip to look at. Right now, only available in standard size, but I have heard through a reliable source that a mid-size is coming and there may be more sizes also, I guess, depending on how this one does. But I like the feel of it so far. Uh, I haven't really done a lot with the plus four design idea, so we'll see what happens right now, but uh, I do like it. Again, lots of different colors. Bright yellow, maybe, yeah. Oh, really missed again. <laughs> That's better. Okay, another good one. Basically, it's what you think it would be. Has more of that texture up at the top, a little bit more of the feel, and a little bit thicker down at the bottom. Personally, I don't use the less tapered plus four design, so it's a little bit foreign feeling to me, so I'm just not quite used to it. I do really like this DTX that I had not played around with until today, so might be checking this out a little bit closer. But there you go. Four different styles to pick from, a lot of different sizes, tons of different colors, and all of them very easy to install and take off with compressed air. Pure grips, definitely recommend them. Think they're great grips and just give you a lot of versatility, a lot of different options, a lot of customization. So check them out if you haven't. If you're in the Atlanta area, definitely come to Elite Fit Golf and we can do a grip fitting. You can try out the different grips, see which one is gonna be best for your game. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please go down below, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. Definitely check me out on my other channel, Elite Fit Golf. You can find me on Instagram at Mobile Clubmaker, and we'll see you next time. Take care.